Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to RimWorld Alpha 16. I hope you're having a wonderful day because things are going pretty well for the colony. Last time, we got everything set up and we have this wall around the northern section of what is soon going to be our compound. Today, I would like to extend a wall out this way a little bit and up to about there and around the, that kind of angle because I will need to keep this steam geyser inside the combine to make sure that we can go ahead and uh, use that later for electricity. Because at the moment, we're just using these two wind turbines, one of which is being blocked by some trees still. So we're going to need to go ahead and make sure that that doesn't keep happening. Uh, so I want to just clear out as much of that space as I possibly can and make sure that uh, the wind turbines are going to be working as effectively as they can. Uh, we're finally getting rid of this tree, which is good stuff. We have a decent supply of food and we have this being dug out as well, which is going to be a bit of a social space. We're also going to have some uh, bedrooms down this way as well. Uh, we could even build into this over here. In fact, I think I would really like to do that. So I want to give a, uh, a mining order to go that way so that we can eventually take this into our base and uh, keep it for ourselves. There's a minor break risk from Luna. I would assume that's because he's wearing tattered apparel and he's also unhappy about being nude. Unfortunately, there's not really anything I can do about that. At the moment, we're not actually going ahead and uh, producing any clothes or anything. We could get ourselves a hand tailoring bench. We could absolutely get one of these. I just don't know if I want it. I don't know if there's much point. Although I guess it might make him happy and we do have some fabrics and all that stuff. So I guess I guess we might as well. Uh, I would like to go ahead and add a simple research bench just to here. Even if there is an outdoor penalty for it. I do want to get one of these on the go. Uh, because getting research on the go is going to be very, very important. And uh, something to keep in mind is that with Alpha 16, this is what the research tree looks like. It is a little bit different, but it is quite literally a, uh, a tree. So... I'm tempted to look into drug production because that's going to lead directly to medicine production. But microelectronics basics does lead into geothermal power, which is much more efficient than wind. Uh, so I might want to go for that. I don't think I need lights. I don't really need auto doors. Hydroponics could be useful. But I think microelectronics basics is where it's going to have to be at. So we're going to set that to be researched. Uh, which will be done eventually. Luna is uh, going ahead and looking to be building most of the stuff we have at the moment because no one else is awake. So that's probably okay. Uh, Luna, I think, do you have a passion for construction? Uh, construction, yeah, you're not bad at it. You're not really who I would call my primary constructor, though. But you did get that done, so that's going to do the job. You are also very good at mining, so you can just keep that going. A uh, little bit low on food. Might be time to send out another bit of a, a bit of a hunting party. That is a, a dead ostrich. Don't know why we aren't getting that. Uh, we do have these ibexes. I guess ibex up this way. Uh, I worry that they might retaliate, which is why I'm not going and uh, attacking them just yet. We'll hunt those hares whilst we have the opportunity. There is an emu just there that will go off and hunt as well. We have a an ostrich this way that we can head out and hunt to. And uh, we have these doe down here as well. It might be worth trying to hunt those. I just worry that the entire pack will turn on me and try and kill us, which would be a nightmare. Because that would actually just kill everybody. I have been killed by a herd of capybara before, so I would rather not have that kind of thing happen, if at all possible. So hopefully that's not going to be too much of an issue. Uh, we do need defenses. We do have low food. That minor break risk is still there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, your mood is not great. You're not liking the environment. You're naked. You're in a bit of pain. You slept on the ground. We'll sort all of that. Don't worry. We are working on it, buddy. Don't worry, Luna. We'll get you sorted. Uh, Blackjack is heading out to hunt an ostrich. We also seem to have struck compacted machinery, which is good stuff. 
Uh, you're not going to go hunt a hare. Which is also good stuff. And this mining project is going along quite nicely. Oh, we're getting raided. All right. So a group of pirates from the Black Sheaves have arrived nearby. They will prepare, then attack. So jump to their location. It's just one of them with a... Okay. Um, Luna has a shiv. Blackjack has a gun and Faye has a gun. So it's like Blackjack and it's like Faye. Recruit them. And move them to... Are they Muffalo? Those are Muffalo. Those are going to need to be hunted. Hunting those would be very, very good stuff. Uh, let's move these guys. Oh, that thing's not going to touch us. The Mega Sloth? Hopefully not. Uh, let's move these guys up this way. Sort of over to here. Uh, let's not get too close to this pirate. Uh, but if we go if we go there real quickly, we can probably get some shots off. Yeah, we can. There we go. That's a headshot as well. Oh, that was another one. Uh, move back, move back, move back. Come on. Let's get back to here. And please, Faye, do not shoot Blackjack. There we go. So the pirate's being shot and is now unconscious. And you are hunting the buffalo. And shooting very close to Faye. Don't know if I appreciate that, buddy. Uh, let's see. So we're going to unrestrict this. And we can also go ahead and see what your injuries are. Uh, you've been shot in the stomach, the leg, the torso. So you've been shot in the jaw by a survival rifle, the torso by a survival rifle and a pistol twice, the stomach by a pistol and the left leg by a pistol. You will be dead in 11 hours. Okay. Um, I don't know if I want to rescue you. I don't know if there's much point, but I guess that, I guess that I might as well. Might as well give it a shot. Uh, so we'll say that that's going to be for prisoners. Sorry about that, Luna. Uh, let's see. So you are going to be Faye. Faye, I want you to go and capture uh, Safara. And we're going to need to get another bed for Luna. Which we can do. We can totally do that. We'll go to production. We'll go to structure. We'll go to wall. And uh, we'll bring ourselves a wall up like that. We'll get ourselves a door there, and uh, we can deconstruct that bit. So that should be fine. And we'll go to furniture and say that a sleeping spot can go in there, and that'll be for Luna. And that'll be fine. There we go. Uh, so I don't want to build a copy of that. That'll just be for Luna. We should have... Yeah, there's Faye coming back with the prisoner. Good stuff. Uh, is somebody going to treat the ancient danger? Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. That's completely fine. Uh, Luna's having a bit of a snooze. Safara is being treated. Will still be dead fairly soon. 10 hours of life left there. 14 hours. 20. And no immediate danger. Okay. Well, that's good stuff. This is good. This means that if we if we can't uh, if we can't recruit Safara, who honestly I don't know if I want to anyway, just because, just because frankly I um I don't want to deal with someone else that's nude basically. But we'll see what happens. Either way, I'm thinking that if we can if we can't recruit Safara, we do get the bonus of. Well, number one, not killing Safara. And uh, number two, releasing Safara will make her faction a little bit happier with me. I'd say her. It is. Am I right in saying her? Um, no, that's the sleeping spot. I want to. I want to select Safara. Yeah, uh, female. That's fine. Okay. Well, that's not so bad. Uh, Luna is a bit happier now that he has a bed. It is a he, right? Yeah, male. That's fine. Just making sure. Uh, food is looking okay in there as well. Plenty of meat on the go. Let's hunt that uh, that wild boar. Because we might as well. Uh, Luna's also idle. I guess we should get you another mining project. Or another construction project would be good as well. Uh, if we go to structure and say walls uh, on those bits. I also want to go ahead and say... I guess we'll start mining this whole thing out. I guess we might as well. Um, 
so mine down to here. And mine across to here. And let's see if we can get some decent sized, but not giant bedrooms or anything. But these are little like five by three bedrooms. I reckon should be okay. Just get a few of those on the go. Get a couple on this side as well. And these are just going to be like little one person bedrooms. I know that eventually colonists will get married or date each other or whatever. Uh, we can deal with that when the time comes. But that can be the series of bedrooms. I reckon this could be sort of primary storage. Which I think would be good. Uh, we could do a little bit of medical storage there. No, we'll not do that. Uh, we'll cancel that. Because what we'll do is... Uh, let's see. We'll mine down this way a little bit further. And I want to open up that corner a little bit. And open up that corner a little bit too. Just so that if we need to defend this hallway, I can put something to cover there. Which I think would be a pretty good idea. Uh, we'll not do, we'll not worry about these bits. But what I want to do is get a medical wing in here as well. So we'll do a little, we'll do a little five by three section here. Which is going to be three separate medical uh, rooms basically, and then that's going to come across this way, up like that, and uh, that's going to be a small medical facility, basically. Uh, at the end of that corridor, we can do a uh, three, seven by three storage area for medical supplies, I guess. Uh, we could even continue that a bit further up like that, to be honest. I see no reason not to continue up that way. So that's going to be medical storage, which I think will be good. Uh, we'll build a little bit of an extra thing there as well. Uh, then prisoners. My prisoners, I want to be as far away as possible. So I'm going to just go the whole way down here. And I'm going to do a corridor going across to here. And instead of 5 by 3 we'll do 3 by 5 So they do have decent sized rooms. They're just sort of oriented differently to the other ones. So we can have three prisoners at any one time. Uh, which I think is okay. I think that's uh, that's a decent little space there. And then we can do nothing in that area. So that's just going to be the, where the uh, the prisoners are. I'm not going to worry too much about making this area here uh, into... Actually, you know what? I am going to worry about that. Because I want to keep this all consistent. If I do that, that, and 3 by 5, and 3 by 5, and 3 by 5. We can get my little uh, space here so my people can take cover there. Then we have this space in the middle, which is going to be perfect for whatever else I want to do. This space over here, I don't know what it's going to be. It can be something. Maybe a kitchen. I think a kitchen might actually be a good idea. So let's do uh, some storage in here. Just like that. That can be food storage. And that should be good. Uh, we will need some animal, some places for the animals to sleep as well, now that I think about it. So let's just make that kind of uh, a little space there, a little 7x3 space there next to the uh, the medical wing and next to these uh, bedrooms as well. And that's one hell of a project. But I actually, I, I have I have a great deal of faith in this project as well. And Luna is getting his ass kicked and has been shot. Oh, for God's sake, Luna. Um, right, Luna, go over there. Luna, get away. Luna... Luna, please, for the love of God, move before you get shot to death. Right. So what exactly are your injuries? You've been shot in the torso. You're in no immediate danger. Which, admittedly, is is better than... Uh, better than it could have been. I guess silver linings and all that. That's uh, about all the silver lining we're going to be getting. Are you two trying to... um? I, think, I feel like Blackjack and Orion might have a thing here. Either way, Luna needs to... Um, Luna needs to get healed up here. Luna definitely... Ah, there we go. So Luna has been healed up and will not just rest until... He's feeling a bit better. 
Um, I am also going to need to go ahead and get more. I'm going to need to get more wood. So let's give an order to chop wood in that area. Uh, or rather chop wood in the entirety of the, the compound, I suppose. So that we can start kind of locally to uh, chop as much of this as we can. Because I do think I want to give the order to go ahead and start building this giant wall around here. So out to it there. And just get me that whole wall done. Uh, we'll put a door there and we'll put a door up there. And we'll put a couple of doors in the, uh, the corner as well. Now there's a major break risk from Luna. And a minor break risk from Blackjack. What's up with Luna? Moderate amount of pain, cramped interior, naked, disturbed sleep, slept on ground, worn out apparel, awful bedroom. Yeah, you are not having a great time. You'll be better when you're not in... When you've not been shot. Because that's not really helping. That's, uh, that is definitely not helping. The fact that you were recently shot and by a friendly at that, so... You should be all right. Uh, Safara, can we have a look at you yet? So if we get a, if we get a prisoner, 84% difficulty. Let's just release you. Let's just get you up and release you and be done with it. Because honestly, I don't think there's much point in, uh, having our, the first person we try to recruit, I don't think there's much point in having that person be someone that's going to take ages to recruit. So, Safara is being let go, which is fine. And we should get a bonus with that faction. So, Safara is with uh, the Black Shivs. And the Black Shivs are nine, minus 92% at the moment. So, we should be alright. We'll get a, I think it's like a plus 15 bonus or something. So, they'll like us. They'll hate us a bit less, basically. And that's probably okay. Uh, now, Luna is still... Luna's feeling better, uh, but really doesn't like that interior. That'll be fine. Once we get this all done, that's going to be completely fine. This is just going to be a one hell of a mining project. It is just going to take quite a while to do. But I'm looking forward to it. And now that we've got Luna on the project as well, it shouldn't take that long. I just need to remember what all these rooms are going to be, and I've already forgotten what this one's going to be. So that's good. I think this might have been a crafting room. <laughs> I really don't remember. It doesn't matter. I know these were bedrooms. These are medical. That's animals. That's medical storage prisoners and all that stuff. So we'll, we'll figure it out. And then this is cooking and uh, food storage. So we'll get there. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. There's nothing to worry about. We'll get there. Uh, let's see. No one's idle at the moment. That's probably good. I want to go and hunt that wild boar. Uh, I do want to make sure, though that it is primarily Blackjack that's doing the hunting. So if I say go hunt that wild boar, uh, Blackjack's going to go hunt it. He's going to shoot it. And the boar is, for the most part, running away, uh, which is good. So we'll hunt that tortoise as well. We'll hunt that rat. And we'll hunt that boar as well. And uh, did we ever did we ever bring the muffalo back? That's a question I'm I'm... Really wanting an answer to. I'm noticing there's a uh, forbidden raccoon up that way. A couple of animals there I would like to hunt as well. And there's another raccoon just there. There's a fox there. I would like to tame that, but I also really would like to get everyone some food. So uh, I don't think we'll be bothering with that at the moment. Got an ostrich there and a hare. So we'll get those hunted too. And we should have plenty of meat coming back. We do have nearly 20... Simple meals and a major break risk from uh, Blackjack, actually. What's up with you? Rebuffed by Faye, rebuffed by Orion. You are really going for it, aren't you? You really are going for it. Uh, now, you are not happy about not having a bionic body part. We can sort that eventually. What are your relationships like? So, Orion likes you more... 
Orion, yeah, Orion likes you the most. So you might get lucky with Orion eventually, mate. But, uh... I just, I wouldn't hold your breath for a while, to be honest. I really wouldn't. I think, I think you might just want to give it a break. You're, you're trying to flirt with everybody. That's probably why they're not happy. You probably try flirting with one of them and the other one's like, hey, did he try flirting with you today? And the other one, it's like, yeah, yeah, he did. He did try again. It's getting really annoying. That's all it is. They're just getting really annoyed. But, uh, he doesn't know that. So no point talking to him. Uh, let's get some floors in here. I know they're not necessary, but I do like uh, getting those floors in there. So we'll get all those in. This is all being mined out nice and quickly. Food storage being mined out at the moment. We have the first part of the hallway for the bedrooms or the new bedrooms being mined out as well. And uh, for the most part, this this is really going well for the colony. I'm honestly sort of pleased. I mean, obviously, this is still very early game. Uh, we do have some break risks. We do need to get food for, uh, not food, we need to get clothes for Luna. But, I reckon, oh, no, you guys are going to get hunted there. I reckon, if we can go ahead and, you know, survive another raid, we'll be fine. I also want to just double click that ship chunk there to uh, deconstruct it. And I'm pretty sure there was another one done this way somewhere, possibly. Psychic drone. Oh, dear. Every colonist of the male, male gender winces in pain. Okay, uh, that's really not going to help us with uh, Luna's mood or Blackjack's mood for the most part either. So, I'm a little bit concerned about that. Definitely a little bit concerned about that. Let's have a look at Luna's mood. You are minus 21. This is where your mood is going to go. And Blackjack, your mood's going to go pretty low as well. So, yeah, you don't like the hideous environment. Yeah, we are. We are going to have some major break risks here, which has me really worried. Uh, let's. Yeah, we need a joy source. That's a fair point. Thank you, Rimworld, for reminding me of that. Uh, joy. We could make a billiard table if we had cloth, which we don't. We can make a horseshoes pin, though. So I guess I'll just throw one of those out here somewhere uh we could put it in the middle of the social area which i think i'd like to do uh Faye, can i get you to prioritize working on that so that that'll get done and uh, what we can do is go to restrict and say that you are gonna be doing anything in this space here i just want you to go to sleep at night uh, but it is mandatory joy at noon and at one. You have two hours of mandatory joy in the middle of the day. That's the way this is going to work. So hopefully that's going to just help them a little bit. Obviously no guarantees, but we can hope. Uh, Jennifer's also going to need a bed, but we don't have this, uh, the animal area dug out yet. We also don't have any of the floors done yet either, and we don't have any of these trees chopped out yet either. Uh, I'm also noticing that storage seems to be full. Storage seems to be very, very full. Uh, so I'm assuming that this was just, yeah, this was just generic storage, wasn't it? So if I say zone and area, stockpile zone, we can start dumping some stuff into there, which I think will be excellent to do. There we go, starting to dump some uh, some steel in there. And you're playing horseshoes. All right. So that's going to help you guys feel a little bit better. Uh, Blackjack's mood is... Yeah, pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad. Uh, a group of travelers are passing by. Walker, Prissy, Kit, and Gerador. Walker, the 18-year-old uh, writer, equipped with a pistol. Prissy, the 23-year-old sculptor with a machine pistol. Uh, Kit, the 64-year-old researcher with a steel shiv. 
and Gerador, the 33-year-old artist with a pump shotgun. Okay, fair enough. Let's go hunt this boar, and uh, we'll also hunt that squirrel and get it shot. And then in our belly, an old soldier named Kyle Harris calls you from nearby. He's being chased by tribes people. Okay. He begs for safety. He's 45 years old. I will offer safety to Kyle Harris. Kyle, let's have a look. What have you got on you? You don't have a weapon. Okay. Okay. Uh, what can you do? You are incapable of nothing. You're good at shooting. You're actually tied as uh, the for the best shooter. You're also very, very good at medicine. So um, let's have a look and see what we can get you to do. Uh, priority one, firefighting, patienting, doctoring, definitely. Uh, Luna, you're going to go down to priority number three on that. You're going to priority three as well. Uh, bed rest and flicking and wardening can be three. You are very good at hunting, so we'll get you on that. You're not amazing at much else, so I'm just going to leave that as is. Uh, now, let's see. Faye, you have a pistol. I would like you to not have that pistol. Faye is not drafted. How do I get you to drop that pistol? How do I... Um, hold on a minute. Uh, gear, pistol, normal... Drop it. Okay. So Faye is going to drop the pistol. Which is excellent stuff. Um, let's unrestrict that and get Kyle to go and equip it. So I'm assuming that these tribes people are going to come in from this direction. Yeah, there are two of them with a steel spear and a marble club. Neither of which have particularly good quality. Okay. Uh, Blackjack has a rifle. Kyle has a pistol. So you guys are going to be recruited. And I'm going to send you off to here. Quick as you can. Come on. Oh, what's going on here? Uh, a small herd of thrombos have wandered into the area. Where? Uh, jump to the location. So that. That thing is very hard to kill, though. So that doesn't seem like it would be a very good idea at all. Um... Where is Blackjack? Blackjack's there. Uh, Blackjack, buddy, you're supposed to be over here. This could be a problem. This could be a real problem. Um, Kyle, run. Run, Kyle. Kyle, 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 run. There you go. Uh, Blackjack, mate, you are really taking your time here. Go. No. Come on. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Uh, Blackjack, you need to be shooting these guys right about now. Oh, come on, Kyle. Jesus, Blackjack, how could you miss that shot? They're right there! Oh, who has a gun? Orion has a... Ah, Shiv, that's gonna have to do. Okay, uh, melee attack lobster, go. Come on. Why? Jesus. Okay, melee attack that... Oh, for God's sake. Right, one of them's... Is Kyle dead? No, Kyle's not dead. But they are fleeing, which is good. So Blackjack, go up there. Ryan, rescue Kyle. Uh, are you dead? Yeah, you're dead. That's fine. We're going to strip you. Uh, Luna, I want you to prioritize stripping this person. Uh, Ryan, you are supposed to be rescuing Kyle. And Blackjack, you are supposed to be going over here. Actually, get back down there quickly. Come on, come on, come on. We're not letting this person away. This person is not getting away. Come on. I want you to um, fire at Blue. I think I think Blue might be getting away, Blackjack. Oh, well, buddy, you tried. Um, Orion, you really don't seem to be interested in rescuing Kyle, do you? Oh, non-prisoner bed. That's what the problem is. Okay. Uh, medical. Orion, uh, go rescue Kyle, please. There we go. All right. Uh, Luna, I want you to go and wear that clothing. That might help you a little bit. There you go. That might make you a bit happier. Even though you did just take off your armored vest, which isn't very good, but it's going to have to do the job. Uh, Blackjack, go and wear that. All right. 
Uh, so, Kyle, what happened to you, buddy? Your left eye has been cut out. R really? <laughs> really? Um... So your sight is not good. That is pretty bad. <laughs> that is that is actually really bad. I can't believe that his um his left eye has just been cut out. That kind of sucks. Um okay, we are gonna need to find somewhere to bury bodies. So I'm gonna say that graves go out here. We'll just get a few of them. Because we only need a few of them. But that's going to have to be where those bodies, uh, those bodies go. Uh, Kyle, I actually really want to, I don't, I don't really want to get you up, mate. But I want you to have your guns before, you know, you, someone else takes it or something. So there we go. Uh, we have this mining operation going ahead, which is good. But that raid was... I guess, sort of technically my fault. I probably should have just said that Kyle can shove it and uh, go elsewhere, but... At the end of the day, it's what's done is done, and Kyle is now safe with the colony. We have five people, and we are just going to need to bury this body. Lobster. Lobster was that person's name. To be honest, they probably deserve to die because of that. <laughs>